Hi, Kenny. I don't really have anything interesting to say today. I've been gaming, taking care of my car, adult stuff. So, instead, I'm going to read you a book. Amelia Bedelia. This is my significant other's book. Very old, very flimsy. It has a stamp of his name and the stamp of the date, which is August 9th, 1996. And it doesn't look a day over 20. <laughs> so I'm going to read this to you and kind of talk about why it's not really a good book for nowadays, but it's a good book because it's funny. So first, Oh, Amelia Bedelia, your first day of work, and I can't be here, but I made a list for you. You just do what the list says, says Mrs. Rogers. Mrs. Rogers got in the car with Mr. Rogers. They drove away. My, what nice folks. I'm going to like working here, says Amelia Bedelia. Amelia Bedelia went inside. Such a grand house. These must be rich folks. But I must get to work. Where Here I stand just looking and me with a whole list of things to do. Amelia Bedelia stood there a minute longer. I think I'll make a surprise for them. I'll make my lemon meringue pie. I do make good pies. So Amelia Bedelia went into the kitchen. She put a little of this and a pinch of that into a bowl. She mixed and she rolled. Soon her pie was ready to go into the oven. There, said Amelia Bedelia, that's done. Now let's see what the list says, Amelia Bedelia read. Change the towels in the green bathroom. Amelia Bedelia found the green bathroom. These towels are very nice. Why change them, she thought. Then Amelia Bedelia remembered what Mrs. Rogers had said. She must do what the list told her. Well, all right, said Amelia Bedelia. Amelia Bedelia got some scissors. She snipped a little here and a little there, and she changed those towels. There, said Amelia Bedelia. She looked at her list again. Dust the furniture. Did you ever hear tell of such a silly thing? At my house, we undust the furniture, but to each his own way. Amelia Bedelia took one last look at the bathroom. She saw a big box with the words dusting powder in it. Well, look at that, a special powder to dust with, exclaimed Amelia Bedelia. So Amelia Bedelia dusted the furniture. That should be dusty enough. My, how nice it smells. And you'll notice how uh, the page is here in a second. Nineteen Draw something. There's a hole. I don't know. Red Amelia Bedelia. She looked up. The sun was coming in. Amelia Bedelia looked at the list again. Draw the drapes? That's what it says. I'm not much of a hand at drawing, but I'll try. So Amelia Bedelia sat right down and she drew those drapes. Amelia Bedelia marked off about the drapes. Now what? Put the lights out when you finish in the living room. Amelia Bedelia thought about this a minute. She switched off the lights. Then she carefully unscrewed the light bulbs. And Amelia Bedelia put the lights out. So those things need to be aired out too. Just like the pillows and babies. Oh, I do have a lot to learn. My pie! exclaimed Amelia Bedelia. She hurried to the kitchen. Just right, she said. She took the pie out of the oven and put it on the table to cool. Then she looked at the list. Measured two cups of rice. That's next, said Amelia Bedelia. Amelia Bedelia found two cups and she filled them with rice. And Amelia Bedelia measured that rice. Amelia Bedelia laughed. Those folks do want me to do funny things. Then she poured the rice back into the container.
The meat market will deliver a steak and a chicken. Please trim the fat before you put the steak in the ice box. And please dress the chicken. When the meat arrived, Amelia Bedelia opened the bag. She looked at the steak for a long time. Yes, she said. That will do nicely. Amelia Bedelia got some lace and some bits of ribbon. And Amelia Bedelia trimmed that fat before she put the steak in the ice box. Now, I must dress the chicken. I wonder if she wants a he chicken or a she chicken, said Amelia Bedelia. Amelia Bedelia went right to work. Soon, the chicken was finished. Amelia Bedelia heard the door open. The folks are back, she said, and she rushed out to meet them. Amelia Bedelia, why are all the light bulbs outside? asked Mr. Rogers. The list said to put the lights out, said Amelia Bedelia. It didn't say to bring them back in. Oh, I do hope they didn't get aired too long. Amelia Bedelia, the sun will fade the furniture. I asked you to draw the drapes, said Mrs. Rogers. I did, I did, see, said Amelia Bedelia. She held up her picture. Then Mrs. Rogers saw the furniture. The furniture, she cried. Did I dust it well enough? asked Amelia Bedelia. That's such nice dusting powder. Mr. Rogers went to wash his hands. I say, he called, these are very unusual towels. Mrs. Rogers dashed into the bathroom. Oh, my best towels, she said. Didn't I change them enough? asked Amelia Bedelia. Mrs. Rogers went to the kitchen. I'll cook the dinner. Where's the rice I asked you to measure? I put it back in the container, but I remember it measured four and a half inches, said Amelia Bedelia. Was the meat delivered? asked Mrs. Rogers. Yes, said Amelia Bedelia. I trimmed the fat just like you said, and it looks nice. Mrs. Rogers rushed to the ice box and opened it. Lace! Ribbons! Oh dear, said Mrs. Rogers. The chicken. You dress the chicken? asked Mrs. Rogers. Yes, and I found the nicest box to put them in, said Amelia Bedelia. Box! Ex exclaimed Mrs. Rogers. Mrs. Rogers hurried over to the box. She lifted the lid, and there laid a chicken, and he was dressed as he could be. <laughs> Mrs. Rogers was angry. She was very angry. She opened her mouth. Mrs. Rogers meant to tell Amelia Bedelia she was fired, but before she could get the words out, Mr. Rogers put something in her mouth. It was so good, Mrs. Rogers forgot about being angry. Lemon meringue pie, she exclaimed. I made it to surprise you, said Amelia Bedelia happily. So right then and there, Mr. and Mrs. Rogers decided that Amelia Bedelia must stay. And so she did. Mrs. Rogers learned how to say, undust the furniture, unlight the light, close the drapes, and things like that. Mr. Rogers didn't care if Amelia Bedelia trimmed all of his steaks with lace. All he cared about was having her there to make lemon meringue pie. The end. There's lots of things wrong with this story. First of all, um, she can't follow directions because I don't know where she learned how to draw the drapes and things like that. Uh, nowadays, we don't have uh, furniture that fades in the sunlight. Um, what else? <laughs> Putting the lights out was pretty funny. Like That actually had some merit to being hilarious. What else? Uh, measuring the rice and then putting it back. I like how she chose two cups that weren't cups. Um, and then the chicken, I did, I did think that she did dress rather well. The internet has destroyed my brain uh, because of the words, uh, Mr. Rogers put something in her mouth that was so good she forgot about being angry. innuendos everywhere. Um, but basically, the thing that she wasn't asked to do is what is allowing her to keep her job. But not doing everything she's supposed to do didn't get her fired after all. 
So if I went into work and I decided to crochet everyone's sweaters instead of do my work and it was so cold out that everyone wanted those sweaters, would I still have a job? Probably not. So it's uh, an old story. You could tell from the book that it was loved or not because it has that hole in it. But I do think that it is a pretty funny book on how someone can misinterpret your words. So maybe it's supposed to be about communicating effectively. But in the end, she made Mr. and Mrs. Rogers change how they communicate instead of how to learn to communicate. So even there, I don't think it became a good story. <laughs> but again, this is my Significant Others book, not mine, from 1996 is for the stamp that's in it. Um, it's a funny book, but I don't think we'll see one of these in a long time. So I'm going to let you go. I need to go undust the furniture, and I will see you later. Bye!